Tally AD champs and welcome to the show. So here, have a look. This is what lost me two days of work, yes. I don't know what happened, it absolutely blitzed out here and that's why I lost two days of work. This video was meant to come out on the weekend and yeah, I apologize for the quality because I hate doing things twice. But you're gonna find out everything you need to know about the differences between the MacBook Pro screen and the Dell XPS 15 screen. So first of all, the Dell XPS is a 15.6 inch screen. The Mac is a 15.4 inch screen. Now they both have different aspect ratios. The Dell XPS 15 is 16 by nine and the MacBook Pro is 16 by 10. So that will probably come out to personal preference, which one you prefer. Mac's a bit taller, the XPS is a bit wider. Now I did notice, obviously, when you view content on your Mac, like YouTube videos and you know films that are 16 by nine, yes, you're gonna get those black bars on the top and bottom when you're viewing it from your Mac. So that's just one thing to watch out for. Now the Dell XPS is a full 4K monitor, not full DCI, but full Ultra HD, which is 3840 by 2160. And the Mac is 2880 by 1800. So, you get a resolution advantage with the XPS 15. There's no doubt there, 4K, it is much better than the max resolution. You get 100% Adobe RGB coverage with the Dell XPS 15, and this is not something to sneeze at. Usually 100% Adobe RGB monitors cost a fortune, and they're pretty much monitors only professionals use. The Mac, you get 100% of P3, so the color gamut is not quite as good as the XPS 15. These are both cracking screens. Don't get me wrong, they're both beautiful, but again, it falls short in resolution and it falls short in the color gamut too. A lot of people have measured it to be around 80 something percent Adobe RGB, so it's not that quite 100 percent that the XPS 15 has there. Now, although the Mac isn't as high res and the color gamut isn't as wide as the XPS 15's monitor, it is brighter. So it has a claimed brightness of 500 nits versus 350 nits of the XPS 15. I think Mobile Tech Review measured 450 nits brightness on the MacBook Pro. It'll vary on panels. I'll just say, comparing them both together there, it's actually not that much brighter than I thought it would be. It's actually two notches on the brightness scale on the Mac for what it's worth. And I did notice that when you had the Mac at full brightness, the blacks did get a little lighter. So it actually looks better with the brightness dialed down a little bit. But it's definitely, if you're in a well-lit area, you're going to probably like the Mac display better because it does get brighter and it's better if you're outdoors or something like that. Now, I've compared these screens at the same brightness. I tried to match the brightness as best I could. And if anything, the Mac screen is a little bit brighter. So if you look at them compared here, side by side, pretty much the same brightness, what I can see is... They both look similar in color reproduction. And what I mean by that is the red looks the same, the purple looks the same, other than the XPS 15 does look like it has deeper, more vibrant and more saturated, richer colors. You can see that in the purple, if you look on the right hand side, if you look at the purples of both of them there, you can see that the XPS 15's purple just looks deeper, it looks richer and more vibrant. Now this is both straight out of the box. You can use Premiere Color in the Dell XPS 15 to tune the colors, but I haven't done that. I've just left it stock with a fresh install of Windows and I haven't changed the profiles on the Mac either. You can change the profiles on the Mac. But with Premiere Color, you can actually get a bit more brightness out of the XPS 15 than it's shown here. And you can actually get more saturated or less saturated as well, just depending on how you tune it. Now let's have a look at the resolution difference here. Oh, I'm gonna put them both to their native resolution. And as you'll see, there is quite a big difference in the resolution there. So not only are you getting the deeper, richer colors of the 100% Adobe RGB on the Dell XPS 15, you're also getting that killer 4K resolution. And I think what we need to remember now is like even Netflix is 4K. And you've got a 16 by 9 ratio, so viewing content on the XPS 15 is just much better, especially when you're looking at 4K. And just looking at this website here, this is Cinebench website, you, you can see the whites. The Dell XPS 15 does have hot whites, and they're sort of got a, maybe a touch of a blue tone. The Max whites are not so hot, and you'll see that in the comparison of the two wallpapers as well. 
the XPS 15 whites look whiter. The Mac has a slightly yellow tinge to its whites. And out of the box, I would say the Mac would probably have the more accurate color reproduction. But again, depending on what you do with Premiere Color, what profile you use and what profile you use with the Mac. And if you're doing professional work, you're probably going to be calibrating. So the differences there are very minute. Viewing angles are good on both these displays. Fantastic, actually. I will note that the XPS 15 does have more reflections and that may have something to do with Gorilla Glass and also you have a touch layer there too so that may contribute to the reflections there. I'm not saying the reflections are bad on the XPS 15 but the Apple display does noticeably have less reflections. And we'll just look here another colour comparison of these two displays here and what you'll see is the colours look similar but they always look deeper and richer on the XPS 15. It just has more pop, it's more vibrant, and I know a lot of people probably don't like the saturation, but of course you can tune that with the Premiere Color, and also you can change the profiles with your Mac. You can probably find a profile that is more saturated too and gives you more vibrancy. But just a conclusion, both these screens are fantastic. The Mac gets brighter, so if you're going to be in bright areas all the time, that's a thing to consider. The XPS 15, yes, 100% Adobe RGB. Higher resolution, has that 4K resolution. It is the better display. Now, for a normal consumer, you probably prefer the Mac display because you probably won't need that resolution and you might appreciate the brightness more than you do resolution or color gamut. But if you're a professional, you're gonna to wanna to get the XPS 15. So that's it, that's my display comparison between the Dell XPS 15 and the MacBook Pro 15 inch. One thing to note, there is a new XPS 15 coming out next year, it's gonna have the exact same display. So this applies for the next model of the Dell XPS 15. I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. I would appreciate it very much. You give me a thumbs up there. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe, go on, be a champ. And until next time guys, tally ho.